article on Chris Swain, his senior profiles. Ever? So probably. The Hopefully we got another one on Saturday well, the finally, night. final feature. Okay. The, this is his big senior profile. Cool. Um, well, why don't you just talk about the kid? You've had him for four years. You've seen him grow up from coming here as a very shy, sure. soft-spoken youngster and develop into somewhat of a leader, I would think. Oh, absolutely. I mean, came in here from Macon. Um, didn't say a whole lot. We didn't know a whole lot about him because he didn't talk. Um, he's really just embraced everything that Navy football is all about and toughness, determination, uh, doing it the right way in the weight room out here on the field. Never, I don't think I've ever heard him say a negative word. I don't know if I've ever heard him say a positive thing either, but um, just a, a great guy to have around in the locker room, uh, out here on the field in the meeting room. He's been nothing but a joy to coach for, for four years now. Let's talk about the development. Obviously, the Arizona State game, we've talked about this with the breakout of some runs. It really opened some eyes. But maybe in retrospect, it caused you all to maybe jump a little further ahead than he, maybe he was ready. I know Coach Nehemiah pushed for him to be the starter. I know that you were a little more cautious that year as sophomore. And right. We kind of rem rem reminisce about those days and the growing pains that Chris did go through because when he was handed the starting job as a sophomore, he really didn't, wasn't, wasn't ready. ready. For it. He wasn't ready. But at the same time, I don't know if Noah was ready either. You know, And so Chris, Chris did a great job what we asked him to do. I think we might have put a little bit much on his plate early on. And yeah, the, the bowl game is freshman year sure was, was kind of like a, a little teaser. Mm -hmm. um, and he lived up to it. Now, don't get me wrong, he lived up to it as, as his career was, has gone on. He's done the things that we saw him do as a freshman and he's continued to grow. And his development within the offense, I think, is really what's taken, taken him to a new level. Um, he's seeing things now that he didn't see as a freshman, that he didn't see as a sophomore. And, you know, he's, he's, he's put the time in. You know, he studies his butt off in the in the classroom and translates it over here to the field and all those good things. So it, it's been a it's been a fun four years to watch him mature, grow into his role, and now to see him as a senior kind of assert himself as a leader within the within the position, but within the offense and now within the team. Um, it's it's been a really a really fun fun thing to watch. Would you say last season as a junior was when he really made a transformation? I mean, I thought that he really kind of started to come into his own and understand the position and do the things you're required last year. Right. I mean, I think it comes with time and reps and experience. And he got a lot of meaningful reps as a sophomore and then more as a junior. And he became, he admittedly became comfortable with what we were asking him to do. Um, and I think there's a lot to be said about that. I mean, at first he was trying to do everything that we were asking him to do the way we were asking him to do it, but he wasn't totally comfortable. He knew what to do. But he didn't know that he knew what to do. And, and when it finally clicked and things started to slow down for him, I think you saw his production start to, to go up. And with confidence and experience this year, I think he's put it into another gear, taken it to another level. Don't you agree? I, I, yeah, I definitely would agree with that. I mean, he's carried the load this year. I mean, I don't know what the difference is between him and Ezel's carries this year, but he's gotten more. Um, you know, it's, he's, I think he's second on the team in, in rushing right yeah, now. He's so. approaching 1,000. I mean, he could hit that magical I hope so. milestone. <laughs> I'm rooting for him. Right. You know, I'd love to see him get there just for, you know, for him personally. I think that would be a great milestone to get. We haven't had one since, what, 04, 05? For fullbacks, yeah. It's been since a while. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yes. So it would be really great. You know, obviously, as an offensive staff, we're, we're proud of those things. Um, as long as we get the W on Saturday at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. But I'd love to see him get there. Now, what about him within the fullback room? Because as you mentioned, he's always been quiet. We always give him a hard time because when he gets called for interviews, he's almost angry because he doesn't really like to do them. Right. But what about being a mentor to these younger kids, like his own brother mm -hmm. and others at that position? Sure. Yeah, I think it's really come on this year. As a senior, he finally got an opportunity. Him and Quentin Ezell finally got an opportunity to really lead the room in the summer. And I think a lot of the, the off-season studies that they did together, uh, showing the young guys what it takes and learning from guys like Noah, and teach and the guys that have come Singleton. before Singleton I mean you could go right down the list of all the guys that have come before him they've all been good mentors to the young guys and I think it was finally Chris's turn to take that torch and to you know make his leave his own stamp on the on the position group I've seen NFL scouts here I know that they are looking at Swain I mean obviously we'd have no idea what happens with the military etc but could you see him playing there do you think he has that ability I think he's got the skills yeah he's got the skills the ability and the want to uh, to potentially play on Sundays is going to take the right situation for him, um, you know, the right team to come call in his name and, you know, hope, you know, God willing, hopefully it all works out for him. Um, you know, I wish him all the best if that were to be the case. And um, I definitely could see him playing on Sundays, um, which you don't say all the time. All right. So, I mean, you've had a bunch of them that you've had for four years during your tenure here. Is he one of your 
He's gotten to be one of your favorites over the years. Has he grown on you? As he started to talk a little bit, he started to grow on some people. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they all have a special place in, in our hearts. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's hard not to love these kids. I mean, what they do, what they're willing to do uh, for us long term. Mm -hmm. You know, it, you can't not like them. Right. It doesn't matter if they play a thousand reps or they play zero reps. They all got a special place in our hearts. Right. All right. Thanks, so, Coach Judge. Thanks. Appreciate it.